Almost everybody in the world has heard the story of Cinderella, and for the most part, it has been because of the massively popular Disney animated film and all that followed. Disney would have us believe that Cinderella was centered around a woman by the same name. She was the kind, caring, and beautiful daughter of a wealthy family. Everything changed for her after her loving mother passed away. Her father would remarry a wicked woman named Lady Tremaine, who would all but take over the house with the help of her two sinister daughters. And as Cinderella's early life is that of a tragedy, her father would end up passing away shortly after marrying Lady Tremaine, meaning the evil stepmother now had the run of the house and Cinderella was left to do all of the chores and the bidding of her and her two daughters. However, things take a turn when the family gets invited to the royal ball. Cinderella, in her excitement and with the help of adorable birds and woodland creatures, creates an amazing looking gown. She also learns that she has a sort of guardian angel in the form of a fairy godmother to help her with any hiccups along the way. And as you know, with her new wicked family, there would be hiccups. But overall, Disney Cinderella is seen as the classic, cute, and harmless fairy tale that we have all grown to love. But did you know that, as with most Disney's movies, Cinderella was their own interpretation of an older tale? Cinderella was originally a story that was written by the Brothers Grimm, and as their name would imply, their version of the story is a lot darker than the one that Disney gave us. The original tale is full of disturbing acts and gruesome images that Disney left out of their version, and while we love the original version of the story, we definitely think that the Brothers Grimm version is worth telling, and it may keep you up at night as a result, so heed warning. In today's video, we are actually going to go over some of the things that really happened in the original tale of Cinderella, and compare it to the classic Disney version that many already know of. Some of these might shock you. For instance, in Disney's 1950 classic, we don't get too much insight into the type of person that Cinderella's father was, and even less of an impression of her mother. In their version of the story, we basically got that Cinderella's mother died and her father remarried, and then he died too. But in the Brothers Grimm version of the story, we get a lot more insight into her parental figures. Come to find out that Cinderella's father was actually just a massive jerk. In the Brothers Grimm version of Cinderella, Cinderella and her father find out that her mother was deathly ill, and as her end drew closer, she beckoned for her daughter in order to murmur her final words. She told Cinderella to remain good and pious, and basically that she would always be smiling down on her from heaven. And that was the last she ever spoke as she passed away right there. Cinderella obviously mourned the loss of her mother and went out to visit her grave on a daily basis. And as the tale goes, the first snow came and covered her mother's grave. And by the time it melted away, her father had remarried. And I mean no judgment, especially during those time periods, but he basically wasted no time before looking for another partner. Our first, but minor red flag. But one thing to note about this matrimony was that he clearly didn't get to know her too well, because even from first glance, you can tell that Lady Tremaine is not the type of person you want around your child. Again, we can chalk this one up to the time period since marriage was more of a business deal back then rather than an act of love. But nevertheless, he remarried and brought Lady Tremaine and her daughters to live with them. Now those parts are not too different from the Disney film, only in the Disney film, the Step family waited until her father passed away to begin being outright horrible to her. But in the original telling, Cinderella's father actually lived throughout the story and further watched as his daughter was tormented by the three new women. They made fun of her nice clothes and then took them from her and began making her act as their maid, all while her father was still alive. That's right, this man let his new family treat his own flesh and blood like garbage. But anyone who has read the original story knows that Cinderella's father doesn't care much about her and more saw her as a mistake. As if reinforced with the way he ends up speaking to the prince about her, which we will get into in a moment. Things were so hard for Cinderella in the Brothers Grimm version of the story that she didn't even have a fairy godmother to fall back on when she needed help. That's right, you know the mystical guardian that helps Cinderella repair her dress after it gets destroyed by her stepsisters? Disney made all of that up. Well, I guess technically it's all made up, but that part even more so. In the original version, she actually gets help from a bird, almost like in the Disney film, just in a different way. As you know, in Disney's version, the little birds and the little mice helped Cinderella make the dress that ended up getting destroyed by the three new women in her life. 
Well, in the original version, after having her spirits torn to shreds by her wicked stepmother, her stepmother continues and nastily says, You are not coming with us, for you have no clothes, and you don't know how to dance. We would be ashamed of you. After hearing this from Lady Tremaine and waiting for her to leave, Cinderella went out to visit her mother's grave yet again, since she was the only woman in her life who had always been kind to her. It is there, underneath a hazel tree, that Cinderella cried, Shake and quiver, little tree, throw gold and silver down to me. And seemingly in response, a bird dropped down a gold and silver ball gown for her to wear. The dress was so vibrant that when she attended the ball, Lady Tremaine and her fiendish daughters had no idea that it was Cinderella. They assumed it must have been a foreigner. And you remember in the Disney film, how at the ball, Cinderella was supposed to leave before it hit midnight as to not have her disguise stripped away? Well, in the original version, there weren't any time constraints like that. Instead, the time came for the night to end, and Cinderella felt it was her time to leave. When she told the prince of her plan to leave, he was a bit reluctant, but then offered to walk her out. To which, Cinderella denied the invitation and began to run home, but the prince was afraid that this might happen, that a woman might try to get away from him. And being the little creep that he was, decided to have his people spread pitch and tar all over the staircase. This, of course, is what caused her to get stuck in the original story, and end up having to ditch one of her slippers. Another difference being that Disney had Cinderella in glass slippers, but the brothers Grimm set her up with solid gold slippers. And of course, although she managed to get away, the prince now had one of her golden shoes to find her with. And how else do you find a woman you just met by using a shoe that she lost when running away from you? You use dogs to track their scent. No? That's not what happened. Oh yeah, he just sent someone to go door to door and had every woman in the kingdom try on the slipper until it fit. That's great A detective work. No, but seriously, we all know that after finding her slipper, Disney told us that the prince went around the kingdom looking to see who might fit this size 4 glass slipper. And in Disney's version, when they get to the Tremaines, the shoe doesn't fit on account of how large her daughter's feet were. Meanwhile, for Cinderella, the slipper fit just right. Happily ever after, right? Wrong! In the original version of the story, it's actually a whole ton darker. You see, after hearing that the prince was looking for someone special, the sisters got excited and thought that they would be good candidates. Only when they went to try on the shoe, the first sister couldn't quite get her foot all of the way in. The one thing blocking her was her big toe. It just wouldn't fit. So, while in the privacy of a room with a slipper, Lady Tremaine handed her daughter a knife and prompted her to get cutting. She said, cut off your toe. When you are queen, you will no longer have to go on foot. And so, she did just that and cut off her toe, shoved her foot in the shoe, and presented herself to the prince. He was fooled and began riding away to the sunset with who he thought would be his new queen. However, as they rode past the hazel tree that Cinderella cried under before, two birds began crying out about how there's blood in the shoe and that it's too tight. So, like an Amazon Prime delivery, he brought her back super fast. This was when the second daughter tried her luck, only for her, it would cost her a heel. She was forced to slice it off and they managed to trick the prince again. But, thanks to those pesky birds, her plans were foiled and the prince found himself bringing yet another daughter back to the Tremaines. This is when he asks if there are any other women living there, to which Cinderella's father replied, No, there is only a deformed little Cinderella for my first wife, but she cannot possibly be the bride, only solidifying the fact that he was a huge jerk in the original story. But the prince insisted on seeing her, and as we all know, the slipper fit perfectly, and the prince looked up at her and said, She is my true bride. As the prince and Cinderella rode past the hazel tree, the talkative birds let the prince know that this time he had the right person on the back of his horse. They then flew down and landed on Cinderella's shoulders. So now, it's happily ever after, right? No, not with their brothers Grimm. Not ever. In the Disney version of Cinderella, after she gets chosen by the prince, her stepmother and stepsisters get all mad, but other than that, it's happily ever after. But that is just another way that it separates itself from the original story of Cinderella. You see, in the Brothers Grimm version, Cinderella's wedding day came, and the two stepsisters showed up. According to them, they wanted to get back into Cinderella's good graces, especially if she were to be queen. 
As Cinderella and the prince walked into the church, they were met with the sisters, one of them on the left side and one of them on the right. And I guess Cinderella's bird friends are less forgiving than some other animals, because it was then in the story that one pigeon would begin to peck one of each of their eyes. And it didn't end there. As they fled from the church, the birds would then come back and peck out their other eyes. This was seen as a punishment for how the two acted towards Cinderella. They would now be forced to live the rest of their lives as blind women who were crippled by cutting up their own feet. As you can tell, Disney really likes to clean up these older and darker fairy tales and turn them into magical ones that most of the world enjoys. And although a little darkness is interesting in movies, in this case, I'm glad Disney made the changes that they did. I don't know if stepsisters committing self-mutilation is a safe thing for young audiences to be watching. But what do you guys think? Would you like to see a remake with a Brothers Grimm version of Cinderella? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. As for now, that's all Disney fans. Let us know what video you'd like to see next in the comments, and like and subscribe for more magically packed videos.